In this video, I will show you three super clever confirmation indicators you've probably never seen before. These indicators can provide accurate buy and sell signals and they're suitable for all timeframes and all markets. So if you've been struggling to find really good indicators for your strategy, this video is exactly for you. Make sure you watch it all the way through because I will also give you the best settings for these tools and the most optimal ways of using them. Okay, without wasting any time, let's get into it. Okay, on a third place, we've got a super interesting and unique indicator called Red K Trader Pressure Index. This indicator by Red K Trader, make sure you add it to your collection. The Red K Trader Pressure Index analyzes the changes in price bars to give the trader a clear visual insight that represents the ongoing fight between the bulls and bears in the market, which in turn can be very helpful in a trader's decision about how the price action may be unfolding, what type of trade and position to take, and when is the ideal time to action. The TPX uses a simple logic and that's one of the things I like about it, there is no complex calculations or magic stuff. The underlying assumption is that the buyers and sellers are competing for control of the market at all time. If there is more buyers than sellers in the market and if the buyers pressure is stronger, they will be able to pull the price range up. Similarly, if there is more sellers than buyers in the market and if the sellers pressure is stronger, they will be able to push the price range down. If we access the indicator settings, we can see that each line represents a different type of pressure. When the red line crosses the green line upwards, this is a signal that the bears are in control. And when the green line crosses the red line upwards, this is a signal that the bulls become in control. We also have a net pressure, which is this line right here. This line basically repeats the signals given by these two lines I mentioned previously. So let's actually get rid of it to make the indicator look a bit more cleaner. And the last piece this indicator consists of is this control level. We can also make it a bit more visible. Okay, so how do we actually use this indicator in the most efficient way? Obviously, we cannot be taking all these signals issued by this indicator because not all of them are highly accurate. So in order to filter them out, we need to tweak the settings even more. So let's first play with the inputs. Okay, we can see that the quality of these signals has improved. So now let's understand long and short entries. Okay, so a long signal is confirmed only when we have a bullish cross that happens above this control level. If the cross happens below the control level, the signal is not valid. On the other hand, a short signal is confirmed only when we have a bearish cross that happens below the control level. We can see that this way we can eliminate a lot of fake signals. And by eliminating as many losing trades as possible, we're literally winning a long game. And remember traders, this is only one confirmation indicator. For a successful strategy, you need to add at least two more indicators to the chart, which could be a second confirmation indicator, a baseline or a volume indicator. I made videos in the past about these type of indicators. Check them out. I will leave the links to them in the description of this video. Okay, now let's move on to the indicator number two. This indicator is called the Fibonacci Auto Trend Scooter. This indicator by Sir Chris. The FATS or Fibonacci Auto Trend Scooter automatically draws active trends from two different timeframes along with Fibonacci support and resistance levels. The tool is also highly customizable. Before we get into the entry signals, let's first understand what this indicator consists of. So first of all, we have these automatic trend lines. The indicator takes into account two timeframes and it draws trend lines based on these timeframes. As the values change with price movement, the lines are updated. They're also color coded for uptrend and downtrend based on the direction of each individual line. The most recent trend lines represent the lower time frame, 
and the trend lines you can see on the left hand side represent the higher time frame. When the momentum in the market is bearish, the higher time frame trend lines are colored in red, and the lower time frame trend lines are colored in orange. The next piece this indicator consists of are these Fibonacci levels. Based on these levels, we can be entering long and short positions. For example, when the price action crosses above one of these levels, this can be considered as a long entry. The stop loss can be set at this dotted white line. And the last piece this indicator consists of are these horizontal levels. Based on these levels, we can determine the overall trend direction. If the price action is above these levels, the market is considered in an uptrend. And when the price is below these higher time frame levels, the market is considered in a downtrend. There are multiple strategies you can try with this indicator. Let me show you one strategy I personally think is one of the best. First, you need to access the indicator settings. And in the input section, you want to disable these colors. We can see that we simply got rid of them support and resistance levels. Okay, now let's understand the trading rules. We're only going to be looking to buy when the price action is closed above these higher time frame levels. Next, we need to have the lower time frame and the higher time frame trend lines bullish. This means that they have to be colored in green and blue. And finally, we're going to be waiting for the price action to break above one of these trend lines. Okay, we can see that we had a breakout right there. And this trade turned out to be successful. Here is another example for a long trade. We see the price action is closed above these higher time frame levels. The trend lines are colored in blue and green, which indicates a bullish pressure. And the candlestick closed above the lower time frame trend lines. If used correctly, the success rate for this strategy can be really high. Okay, now let's understand the short signals. First of all, the price action must be in a downtrend. As we already know, the trend is confirmed by these higher time frame levels. We see the price action is below them. The next condition is to have both of these trend lines bearish. This means that they have to be colored in orange and red. And finally, the price action needs to break below one of these trend lines. Let's take a look at one more short example. Here we see that the bearish trend is confirmed. The trend lines are colored in orange and red, and the candlestick broke below the lower time frame trend lines. By the way, traders, if the price action breaks inside the trend lines, this cannot be considered as a valid entry. Remember, the signal is valid only when the price breaks outside the trend lines. So yeah, traders, definitely recommend this indicator. Go ahead and play with the settings and pick the strategy you like the most. Obviously, do not forget to do the proper backtesting before trading live. Alright, we finally got to the indicator in the first place, which is called the Faith Indicator. Faith Indicator by EYK Punter. This indicator compares buyer's demand with seller's supply volumes and calculates which prevails. Therefore, it only works if volume is published. Buyer's demand is assumed for a period in which a higher high is reached with more volume. Seller's supply is recognized by a lower low combined with more volume. As we can see, the indicator consists of the histogram and the background colors. The background is colored using the whole agreement indicator. It basically graduates the price movements in five grades to which it assigns a background color. So a grade 2 is represented by a blue color, which means a clear uptrend movement. Grade 1 is colored in green, which indicates some bullish momentum. The grade 0 is colored in silver, which represents a sideways momentum. There is also a grade minus 1, which is colored in maroon. This represents some downward momentum. And the grade minus 2, which is colored in red, it represents a clear downward movement. The indicator shows price action slash momentum as a background color and volume action analyzed as a grade of faith in the form of a histogram. Usually faith comes together with rising prices and distrust with lowering prices. However, the contrarian situations might occur, for example lowering prices while the market has good faith. These can be explained by minority sellers who act contrary to the feelings in the market. If the faith indicator confirms the price movement, you might assume that the move is meaningful and it will go further. Also, if you see faith diminishing, you might assume that the move is coming to an end and the tide is going to turn. So how do we actually enter long and short positions based on this indicator? 
So a long position is valid only when we have a blue histogram appeared on a blue background. This is an ultimate confirmation that the price action will continue to move in an upward direction. On the other hand, a short signal is confirmed only when we have a new red histogram appeared on a red background. The change in a background color does not indicate a new signal to buy or to sell, only the change in the color of the histogram confirms the entry. By the way, if the indicator printed a new blue histogram, but the background does not confirm the signal, we cannot be waiting for the background to catch up. We're simply waiting for a better opportunity. Although this tool is highly accurate, I do not encourage using it on its own. To filter out bad signals, you need to add an indicator that confirms the overall trend direction. For that purpose, you can use, for example, trend buy and sell. So if the bars are colored in green, this is a signal of a longer term uptrend. This also means that you're not going to be looking to sell during this time. Now we see that all these losing short trades are invalid. So yeah, we can see that these indicators work really well together. Just take a look at how well these losing long trades were eliminated. As we can see with this strategy, we're not going against the trend. Okay traders, I think that's going to be it for this video. I hope you found it useful. If you want to see more videos about the best trading view tools, check out this playlist right here.